Hello everyone, my name is Brian Seymour. I am the Director of Instructional Technology and Pickerington Local School District's Testing Coordinator. I'd like to take a few minutes today to walk you through the middle school's next generation assessment calendar for testing that will begin in February. So first of all, our fifth grade students will take assessments in English Language Arts, Mathematics, and Science. And our sixth grade students will take assessments in English Language Arts, Mathematics, and Social Studies. Now the next generation assessments are slightly different than what we've experienced before with the OAAs. The first piece that you'll find is different is that these are going to be online tests. So students will take these assessments on um, school issued iPads. You will also notice that these assessments are in two different sections of the year. Um, so the first section is about 75% of the way through the school year. The second section is then about 90% of the way through the school year. So the first section is titled Performance Based Assessment or PBA and these are mostly extended response type questions. So longer um, responses, things that kids will have to type out longer answers to. The second section at about 90% of the way through the school year will be called the end of year assessments or EOY. These will mostly be multiple choice type questions, short answer questions, graphical response, and simulation type questions. The performance based assessment will be given in February through March and these will mostly be hand scored by evaluators very similar to the way that the OAAs have been in the past. The end of year assessments will be given in April to May and these will mostly be scored by computers. So I'd like to take a few minutes and walk you through the calendar for our middle school um, performance based assessments which will be 75 percent of the way through the school year and with this we're gonna start testing on Friday February 20th 2015 English language arts grade 5 will start Monday February 23rd grade 5 section 2 and Tuesday February 24th will be English language arts grade 5 section 3 you can see the testing time that is listed there that is the testing time um, that is going to be allotted to each student now if your student has a IEP has a 504 plan or has a ELL plan um, and they have extended time as one of their accommodations they will be given extended time past that normal uh, time that's listed there in the testing time column. You also notice that the English language arts um, has three different sections which is a change from the OAA. Each one of these sections will have a specific topic that it will be um, assessed during that time. So the first section of all the English language arts tests will mostly focus on literacy. Section number two will focus on uh, reading and comprehension. And section number three will focus on writing effectively when using and analyzing sources. So we're going to see the same thing for grade six. So Wednesday, February 25th, Thursday, February 26th, and Friday, February 27th, grade six, section one, two, and three of English language arts. Coming back from the weekend, on Tuesday, March 3rd, we're going to do mathematics, grade six, section number one. Wednesday, March 4th, grade six, section two of math. And then you'll see the same thing for grade five, Thursday, March 5th, and Friday, March 6th. The following week, Wednesday, March 11th, we'll have Science, Grade 5. And Thursday, March 12th, we will have Social Studies, Grade 6. So if we break this down by grade level, you can see that our 5th graders are going to have 6 days worth of testing. And our 6th graders will also have 6 days worth of testing. So from March 12th, we will take a little bit of a break from the next generation assessments and we will come back to the end of year assessment which is approximately 90 percent of the way through our school year and we'll start on Wednesday April 22nd 
with our English Language Arts Grade 5. Now you'll notice that here it doesn't have a section number because this is the only section of English Language Arts Grade 5. Um, so instead of the three sections that we had earlier in the PBA, you'll now only have one section here. For Grade 6, Language Arts is going to be into two sections. So Thursday, April 23rd and uh, Friday, April 24th. And then we'll come back from the weekend, get into Math 5, April 27th. April 28th, Section 2. Wednesday, April 29th, will be Grade 6 Math, as will be Thursday, April 30th. Tuesday, May 5th, will be Science, Grade 5. And Wednesday, May 6th, will be Social Studies, Grade 6. So once again, if we look at grade levels, 5th grade has 4 days worth of testing, and sixth grade will have five days worth of testing. So we do realize that this is going to be different, and this is going to be different you know, from what we've had in the past with the OAAs, and we do understand that there are going to be some questions. Um, I would encourage you to continue looking at our website and follow some of the links and look at some of the practice tests. If you have any individual questions, um, we are asking that you please start with your child's building principle. Um, and ask your question there and as the questions get answered we'll start to create an FAQ on our website with um, some of the more general type questions um, but we want to make sure that everybody is supported and everybody is um, all questions are being answered so please feel free to to ask your questions um, and we will try in our everything we could possibly do to get back to you in a uh, timely fashion so thank you very much